I used to have a guitar, but I had to downsize. From beautiful downtown Brampton, it's the Rob Gossingen Show, and on tonight's show, music news, dance party, and the invisible singer. All this in the usual cast of nutjobs, with special guests Scooby-Doo and Toby Gray. We'll be back right after this, but not before that. So you want me to represent you as a singer. You want to be a singer, is that correct? Yes, it's been my lifelong dream. Okay, uh, you realize you have no head, right? Yes, I, I realize that. Is that a problem for you in any way? All right, uh, do you have any showbiz experience? Well, mainly acting roles. Ah, oh, actor, eh? Yes, uh, lots of horror films, mostly decapitation scenes. Oh, I smell some money in there, yeah. But I've gone as far as I can as a headless actor, and it's time to move on and become a singer. Oh, well, goodbye money. Why? What appears to be the problem? Well, well look, kid, you gotta play to your strengths, right? I mean, uh, if you don't, then you're just uh, biting off your nose to spite your... Yeah. I mean, where's your head at, man? I mean, uh, really, where's, where is your head? Do you keep it in a jar by the door? And who was it for? <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. Bah, uh, really, how do you live without a head? Well, it wasn't easy at first. There was a lot of blood. But you know the old saying, never say die, so I pick myself up and I, I just keep going, you know? Well, I admire your plucky attitude, but uh, let me be on record in saying that having no head, uh, I consider to be a limitation in this business, okay? Uh, so you still want to give this singing thing a shot, eh? More than anything. Okay, you know, I couldn't get you a spot on The Masked Singer. I mean, the reveal would be fantastic. You know, headlines the next day and that uh, would be, you know, headless guy wins Masked Singer. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Got a new name for you, a stage name. Yeah, yeah, it would be Non Headley wins The Masked Singer. Ooh, I like that, I like that very much. Hold your head up high, hold your head up. Yeah, man, I'm like taking care of business, man, like every... Yeah, man, like... Once a month, man, I sort of have a little ponder about it. Yeah. Hello, I'm Yule, and I am Slide Whistle Bosker. I played a slide whistle on the street for the money. I'm enjoyed by many, many tourists. Most laugh at my crazy antics. I mean, why else would they laugh when I present them with majestic theme from Star Trek? <coughs> or maybe give them melancholy of Adele's rolling in the deep. So, if you're in the market for Slide Whistle Bosker, we'll look no further than me, Yule. Slide Whistle Bosker. He's like a broken wreck. 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 This interval is called a tritone. Throughout the Middle Ages, that was called the Devil's Interval. Now, the composers, upon penalty of death, could not include this interval in any of their compositions. Oh, penalty of death. Such a fun penalty, don't you think? It's one of my favorites. Yes, so include this in any song and you would be condemned to hellfire. But I can play it all day long because I'm, I'm, besides being a pagan, I'm also very cool. So, you know, move over, Rover. Let Nero take over. Ooh, killer stuff.
I beat B flat. Good evening, I'm Ian Handsome Man, and this is the Music News. Our top story, places like Australia and New Zealand are having live concerts, while here in Brampton, still nothing, not a Zippo. So, for his version of this, Ned Simmons with My Take. Hi, I'm Ned Simmons, and this actually, is my actually, take. Actually, it's, it's, uh, it's his take, it's, he's not stating my take, he's, he's stating his take, or is that, actually for him, then it would be my take. Hi, I'm Ned Simmons, and this is my take on A Year Without Concerts. Now, first up, I just want to say that uh, I, I really miss them. And uh, I think my last concert was probably February 2020. Oh, that was Nickelback. I was on assignment, okay? Mm. I got paid to be there. I'm a professional, all right? Oh, whatever gets you through the night. All right, night. <laughs> Poet didn't even know it. Well, kind of did. Oh, go ahead. Now, now, I've been streaming videos at home, right? There's no drunken slobs near me. There's no tall guys ahead of me. And there's no hassles getting to the venue. And yet, I would rather have a bad live concert than have to go through any more of this quarantine viewing. But you're quarantining with me, Ned. Yeah, see, the thing is, I, 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 I miss people. I mean, you know, unlike watching a video, when you go to a live concert, you not only hear the music with your ears, you, you in a sense sort of hear the music with your whole body. And then when you're in a crowd together, this mass of humanity just sort of feeling this all in a one wave together, it's, it's like, it's very, it's very transcendent, really. Feeling all hot and bothered, Ned. Well, that's one response. Um, see, so uh, when all this is over and uh, we get back to concerts, uh, I wouldn't care if the whole crowd was full of drunken fools. I wouldn't mind if the Toronto Raptors starting lineup was sitting in front of me. Wouldn't bother me at all. You had a flat tire going to the gig, have to walk five miles to get to it. Great. Nothing. No problem. Easy. See, because that first concert back, after all this, oh, it's going to be one of the happiest nights of all my life. I swear to God. I'm Ned Simmons, and this is my take on A Year Without Concerts. Whoa, very impressive. This whole uh, live concert thing seems very thrilling. Have, haven't you ever been to a concert? You know, Ian, sometimes it's, it's like you're a robot. And that's like a bad thing. Must have been the right place. Und must have been the wrong time. Hey, I'm tuning. Maybe you could give me and the guitar some space, eh? You know what they say, three's a crowd. Did you know parts of the guitar were named after the human body? Mmm, it's very delectable. I mean, this is the headstock. This is the fingerboard. This is the lovely neck. This is the body. Mmm. And this is the sound hole. There's only one nut, though. Hey, I love my guitar too, but that guy is a I like that, eh? Well, that's the show. Hope you enjoyed that. And now a quote from French philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre, who said, Music is the moonlight of the gloomy night of life. Always a big uplifter, that Jean-Paul. See you next episode. <laughs>